The Apple Watch is a great smartwatch, probably the best you can buy, but it's still not perfect, especially in the software department. So here's my concept of the features WatchOS 9 must have. One of the most requested features is another way to browse apps. In WatchOS you have this honeycomb style grid which looks cool but it's a little awkward to use, and the list view, which is a lot more intuitive but also slower. The best middle ground could be this a 3x4 grid, it would still be scrollable with the digital crown, like any other vertical interface in watchOS, but it would show so many more apps compared to this view, while still remaining more intuitive and straightforward than the Honeycomb view. The next feature is something so obvious I have no idea why it's still not there. App folders. Some of you may think that it's a pointless feature. WatchOS users are already using very few apps after all, but I disagree. Yes, apps aren't as important on the watch as they are on iOS for example, but they're still there. Plus, because of the obvious limitations of watchOS, many of the functions that on iOS you find inside of the same apps here are split into multiple ones. It would be nice to be able to group them together at least, because that's the point of folders in watchOS, letting you group together all the apps you use in any specific context. And because you may have different watch faces for each activity, like a main one that you use most of the day, and one for when you exercise, app folders could be added as complications to set watch faces, reducing the time you'll actually have to search for any specific app, making the entire OS even snappier to use. Now, probably I'm the only living being that's complaining about this, but still, the control center buttons look like this. Why? There's this weird and inconsistent padding between them, and the bevel is making them smaller for no good reason. What's the point? They should become more squared off exactly like most of the other buttons in the US. It's even in their own guidelines. But obviously, it's not a watchOS update if it doesn't bring a new watch face. And the one I made is basically a better version of the extra large one. My design keeps the two main elements of the enormous complication in the center and the hour, but it also adds a small complication for each corner. And just because, why not? A ring showing you exactly how much time you have left for the day. It's definitely not a groundbreaking watch face, but in terms of pure utility, and with the current limits of the watch, I don't think it's even possible to create a better watch face than the Infograph modular, and Apple isn't going to allow for third-party watch faces anytime soon, so there's that. Yeah, I know, that's one of the main things everyone wants, but I don't think we'll get it. It's not impossible, but definitely unlikely. Watch faces, after all, are the main thing they can use to differentiate not only the individual software updates, but also the different models of Apple Watches. And if there is one other thing which Apple is seemingly ignoring regarding the Apple Watch, despite so many people asking for it, is a circular model. And that's the topic of this video here, where I don't just show you how it would look like, but also explain whether it would even make sense in the first place. Check it out if you want, ciao!